Hello, and welcome back to Subnautica. I'm Vic, and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel, and it is... time. So let's do it. I'm just gonna... Yeah, okay, good. If I'm lucky when I'm, rem when I'm editing, I'll remember to take advantage of that. And there they are. All the little baby emperors. Oh, get a scan. Yeah. Come here, you. Come on. They take a long time to scan. There we go. And you guys can go say hi to Mama. I'll just hang back. That little show of affection is interesting. Well, there she goes. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up? Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. I like her philosophy. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the the little display of affection there is kind of interesting. Um, it makes you wonder what the ordinary life cycle of the emperors is. I mean, she did say that their freedom is her end. So maybe this is how it always is, but... Ooh. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, it is. Um. But are those little, little babby emperors fit to take care of themselves? Yeah, touch the glittery thing. Big ol' blob of raw enzyme. And now I have superpowers. All right, well. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. I'm kind of all over the place right now. All right, I'm done talking about the babies for now. Um... So I guess the hypothesis has got to be that uh, all the all the emperors make enzyme forty two, but maybe uh, maybe mommy down there is so old that she's not uh, producing as effectively as she used to, and that's why the enzyme that she's sending out into the world via the peepers is uh, not sufficient to get cured by. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hope that the behaviors aren't gonna be all screwed up again. Oh, hello, texture problems. Oh, uh, let's just get out of here. This place is falling apart. So we're all cured now, which means. That I can pilot the prawn suit like a drunken idiot. Uh, it actually means that the warpers will now leave me alone. And that I can go and deactivate the quarantine platform. And that means... That it is Neptune rocket time. Hey. Thank you. Systems online. You may have noticed that I swept out, switched out my torpedo arm for my drill arm. I decided that it was not appropriate to go armed before the Empress. 
I don't think anybody will find fault on that point. What am I doing? I am thinking ahead is what I'm doing. So I'm going to need to go... I mean, I don't have to use my mobile vehicle bay, but... Why not? Right? I have to be on the surface anyway. Neptune launch platform. That's what we want. Oh, I can't even... Do I not have recipes for for the other stuffs? I know I can only construct it on the platform itself. How inconvenient. Alright, so the plan was to go back to Tranquility Base and raid it for all the stuff. That's not a very good number. Uh, all the stuff that I need to build the rocket. And then take that to the surface with me and get it all done in one clean shot. Are we... Are we recharging here? We are. Damn, that's slow. I guess I should have let this run for a while in between episodes. I'm making the run up there with 50% power. After the run down we had, I don't... I don't like that idea, so... Yeah, so I guess I'm just going to have to grab all of the ingredients that I think might be appropriate and uh, do it that way. Well, let's see. This guy, these guys are all, they are not all. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to play a little musical chairs here. Because why not? there. Now, why exactly am I doing this? I don't know. This is silly. I should just put some charged things in the slots and work it out later. Yeah, so we'll be much closer to 100% now. And uh, I'll go swap some more out if I really need it. And hopefully... I won't be really needing it in a heated situation. Get it? Because I'm in the in the lava zone. Heated situation. Yeah, it's funny. It is. Okay. Let's get on with it. Engine powering up. And we're gonna... It's low. I'm going to stick with slow, and I'm going to refrain from silent running, if I can, for a while. Just do as much charging up as I can. Am I going to charge faster now that I'm out over the hot, hot heat? I can hope so. Especially since I'm going to need that power. So I'm going to need to figure out what I want to put in my... Yeah, okay. Should have done that a while back. Um... What was I talking about? Let's get a time capsule. That's the word that I was looking for. Okay, here we go. I don't really feel like trying to put something, like, <laughs> super useful in there. I'd rather put something that I think is kind of funny. Maybe I'll, <laughs> maybe I'll put some lube in there. I'll do a, do a lube and an ion cube. the thing that I have repeatedly used as a joke that may have gone unnoticed and the thing with which I am obsessed. I feel like that's that's a good combo. No, just let me out. We don't we don't need to play games here. 
Oh, this, this is getting stuck on things. All right, now where? Where is my way out? Power cave. Tranquility base is over that way. Oh, how inconvenient for you. All right, I'm just going to naively make my way toward the beacon, which I think is going to work out for me. Oh, yeah, there's the familiar lava dome. All right. I am all set. So now it's just a matter of not getting eaten by a dragon. And there will be other simple matters in the future. <coughs> but that one will take care of us for the time being. I should have... No, you know... Putting the power cells in was the responsible thing to do, because now I have a bigger reserve of power in case something goes wrong. I was going to say everything's going so great now, I could have just left the discharge power cells in there. But that's the difference between being prepared and... being optimistic. I mean, I guess you could say that it's being pessimistic, right? Because I'm I'm now accusing myself of wasting my resources. And a lot of these things are just a matter of framing. In any case, the important thing will be that I make it to Tranquility Base with my Cyclops. Alright, well, let's um, have a look around, and then let's get bold, because we are in the pipe. I have not been paying any attention to whether I have any leeches on the hull, um, but I might have actually, I don't know. Does the shield knock the leeches loose? Because that might have saved me on the way in. <coughs> Doesn't mean I wouldn't be picking any up right now, but... Ah, uh, see, now we're... only barely charging. I wonder... how often it is that people get through this area at least once without having the sonar. Because what a hassle that must be. Just, just fumbling around in the dark. I think that'll do me. I mean, I guess if you're not taking my sweet back route through the Tree of Life, um, you're going to have less difficulty finding your way out. Because it's just that, it's it, it, maybe not just that, but it's, it's significantly that one tunnel there that's just dark. <clears throat> is it weird that I didn't just take the prawn suit through the teleport that all the babies went through so that I could follow them to where they are playing carefree in the shallows I feel like that's the standard operating procedure right <clears throat> you said I'm loose and then you go hang out with them and then maybe you come back and collect your stuff maybe
And here we are, Tranquility Base. For our final visit. Probably. Hey. This is not observation duty. We do not skip cameras here. Is that understood? Where is... It's over there. Here we go. And... Let's back up a little bit. There. Should be good. Now, how about them power cells? I have a spare set in Tranquility Base. So I'm not too worried about it. What do I want to do? I'm just going to pull this for now. It can go back in the locker. Alright. Those that are in there will get charged up. And the remainder I will charge up myself. Because it is going to take a few minutes to unload the base. All right, Stalker, I hope you've got enough toys. You look to be well entertained. Because um, those are going to have to keep you busy for ever. And where is the little one? He said, as the stalker chomped on something. Oh, but there he is. Good. Welcome aboard, Captain. Now, these are the good cells, right? Yes, they are. Okay. And I don't even need to wait, worry about waiting for them to fill up. Perfect. I should have put the other power cells away. So I guess, first things first, I might as well take care of... The things on the list. Right? Okay. Get those ingots cooking. Um, now how about... What do I need for... I need one of you. And I need... Two of you. And I need a couple of you. And then I need some, uh, coral, table coral. That's the word. Do I have any of those lying around? I might have used them all up. I have used them all up. I guess I can double check my overflow closet. Nope. Okay. So I just gotta go find a couple of those. That's fine. I'll put these away and uh, unburden myself. And then start thinking about what my priorities are going to be for bringing stuff back to the ship. Or, you know, maybe... Maybe I just shouldn't Welcome sweat it. Board, right? Systems I mean, I've got sort of a random collection of crap here. Um, oh, you know what I'll do? I'll load up on ion cubes because I am obsessed. You guys can stay there, because why not? Um... And then I will bring along all of the deep sea things. I think that's a good idea. And the shallow sea things, those will be available. So I don't need to worry about them. So let's see. Kyanite, that needs to come along. Uh, nickel. And then I guess just all the rarer stuff.
Do I want to do anything with prawn suit? Yeah, I'll just leave it. The gold and silver, not too hard to find, but not uh, not in great abundance. Yeah, so let's just see how it goes. Okay. Yeah, nickel. Nickel for sure. Ruby. I'm not going to need this much of these things, but uh, we'll come back for those for sure. Alright, good. Come on. It's too bad I can't just build myself a little alien arch, like right here, so I can just bit back and forth. But if I was going to do that, I should have done it ages ago. And also, I can't. So, there's not much point in whining about it. Right? That is the stuff I collected earlier. It's fine. So grab. Let's take care of the ion cubes before I forget them, as if that was a possibility. And the rest of the kyanite. Certainly, I don't need all of these, but what the hell. Actually, I am going to leave the rest of those. I have a great abundance of ion cubes, and if I desperately need them, I can go down to the facility without traversing the river. Let's go ahead and put these... Yeah put these in here and then we can pull the lead out marine and uh, worry about that later whatever it's not like I'm gonna lose these things they'll be in one of those lockers You know, that little cuddle friend is pretty fast. I'm surprised. Good. We're leaving those. Gold and silver? Why not? I don't have all that much of them. Well, more silver than I thought. Good. And what all is left? Magnetite? I should bring Magnetite. I don't need to worry about Magnetite. I'm pretty sure it can be found in the Mushroom Forest. I could bring what's left of the Titanium so that I don't have to hunt for so much of that. But honestly, it's not a huge deal if I have to look for some. Sulfur crystals. Yeah. That is another thing that I have to be in the Lost River to get. So, best not inconvenience myself. Now, where were those? Hmm. Yeah. Why not? I know, I told myself no, but there aren't even that many of them. They're not going to take up that much inventory space. It'll be okay. They were around here somewhere, weren't they? There we go. I'm not going to worry about cave sulfur, because I can certainly get more of that if I need to. 
enameled glass doesn't hurt, does it? What the hell? I'm going to leave that here. It'll be like a Degasi type discovery if anybody else ever comes down here. All right. I do believe that is it. Goodbye, Jack. Bye, yeah, that works. Um. Oh, the titanium. I forgot about the titanium. Why not? And, oh, I mean, I'm pretty sure I have like an entire locker full of quartz, but. All right, let's go. Goodbye, Tranquility Base. You served me well. Definitely my favorite spot for a base. Although I do think the Tree of Life looms larger in my imagination than it does in reality. You find that that is true for you for things? Alright. Yeah, look at all that quartz. Here, have some more quartz. And that one is full of ions. I just realized I left some charging power cells down there, but I also have a full complement of power cells. So it's fine. We're all charged up. I should charge up my own body. And we are ready to roll. And so now the question is, which way up am I going to take? Am I going to take the bad place? I'm not going to take the bad place. I'm going to go over this way. Yeah, well, say your goodbyes now, because I am not coming back. And this is the way that takes me back to the Degasi. Yeah, the Pref Lost River entrance. Although I'm sort of dubious on the Pref part. Maybe I can find... A slightly more dignified way to extricate my fat ass from the darkness and perhaps I can find that way by going over here instead of over there where we went before because I believe there are four total ways to well broadly speaking there are four ways to get into the Lost River, right? And this feels good so far. Yeah. This is probably the actual pref one. Hmm who that is. Is there a ghost over there? Haven't heard him yelling yet. Alright, a little bit of excitement there. Because I'm just recklessly driving at a head full through, through this cave. And that is not an opening, that is a rock. But it also is not an island, so... That's another song lyrics reference. That one's pretty obscure, I think. Yep, 
yes, this is the way. And I think, I don't know if I can go all the way up here. This is great. And I've even been this way before. I just made some bad decisions over and over again. Hello, Warper. You don't have a job anymore, did you know that? Fantastic. And, ah, we're in the Sea Treader's Path. I should have spent more time over here. This actually would have been a neat place to maybe build a base. If I was in more of a base building mood. But those days have come and gone. I could have grabbed some table coral samples by the uh, dead dragon. But there will be plenty in the safe shallows, so not a concern. Oh, hey, you know what there isn't plenty of? That's right. Time for this episode. So, come back and see me again tomorrow, and we will get started on building the Neptune rocket, complete with exotic power source to get us not just to orbit, but beyond. Talk to you soon. <laughs>